All right. Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Thursday. Today's Cyber Expo Day. Hopefully, everybody's all registered. I just posted the link. We are starting at 12 o'clock. All right, guys. So make sure everybody's registering. Good to see you, Mike. Norman, Greg, Keith, good to see you. Grant, Juan, everyone on YouTube. Bonnie, good to see you. And on Facebook, good to see you all. Welcome back. Uh, let me tell you, yesterday we had the craziest stock ever. I haven't seen a stock take off like this. But by the way, this morning's been unbelievable. This IMMP, it was the first call out this morning. Um, just want to bring, I'll bring up the announcement so you guys could see that. Yeah, these are the morning watch list that I put out. Remember, we start early. I'll post that in the chat room again so you guys can see that this is why early bird gets the money and everybody here on youtube i'm just going to post that up so uh if you do want to join us on youtube and facebook we start at uh, roughly right before not eight o'clock and the biggest stock that was on there was the immp if you were here exactly when you were supposed to you got you should have got in at five and guess what 640 i'll take it i'll take it thousand shares Okay, you're kicking butt right now on a buck fifty, fifteen hundred dollars on a day. You do that every day, almost a half a million dollar salary, right? Over a quarter of a million, another five hundred, about three, three fifty. I'll take it. That's why people love day trading. So anyway, congratulations. I, I think a lot of you are pretty much done for the day, right? I think everyone's good. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that, Mike Dorsey. Uh, that the uh, the, the GL. SI was just unbelievable. So let me go out there and bring this up really quick. Uh, the GLSI. So you rarely get something like this. The last time we had a stock like this was Kodak. All right. So let me just bring up the time frame up here so you can see it within the 30 minutes. Uh, that's not a good time frame. 10 minutes. Okay. So 10 minutes. All right. So here's a stock that literally hasn't gone nowhere in several months, right? All of a sudden, news broke out. The stock was the most sickest thing I've ever seen. It just went from at one o'clock all the way up. Hopefully, I can do it a little bit better here. Five minutes. Yeah, five minutes looks a little bit better. Does it make four minutes? Yeah, yeah, probably four minutes looks better. All right, so let's bring this up here. So here's a stock that literally just went from just out of nowhere, ran from $27, shot up all the way to $42. We're like, oh my God, that's unbelievable. But the stock was so crazy uh, uh, volatile that you couldn't trade too many shares. Because remember what I always tell you, the motto, um, buy less trade more okay and um stock literally went from 44 dollars and it just kept getting halted and halted and halted to 160 dollars when was the last time you ever been in a stock like that okay i remember last one was kodak but uh but this one and then nicola was another one but this one i said i always tell you guys don't worry about it. we're gonna find another one and if you missed it we'll do it yeah uh short squeeze tops was one of them yes that was another one um it was definitely michael it was definitely a wild one is it a short squeeze? Well, what else could it probably be? You know what happened? Short squeezes actually come to fruition because sometimes there's a very tight float in the stock. And when there's a very tight float, um, that causes a, the volatility that you get. Remember, there's a lot of outstanding shares. Um, it, it, it can't do what it's doing. All right. This has to do because it's a very, very tight float. Uh, there's not that many shares outstanding. And I, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, without even looking at what it is, I could probably assume the stock was probably trading five, maybe, maybe 10 times more than outstanding shares that's even out there. So that's probably what it was. But, uh, but it was a fun stock. And there was a couple other crazy ones too that we did pretty well. Look, I, like I told you, I love Thursdays, uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I did pretty well in a couple of stocks. Let me just bring up um, Xbox. That one, um, next time frame on this one. So that one had a really nice gap up and it just went from a dollar to almost six. And then obviously then right around when I told you, it's usually done around 10 o'clock and that's where it started retracing. So that one also did well. Uh, what else have we had? Oh, cruise in the pre-market. That was another one that would, that moved pretty nicely. That one went from six fifty to $9. That was a nice one. What else that we have? Uh, the TH TV. That one also, you know, $14 stock right in the F, you know, at the end of the day, that was a great afternoon runner. Thing ran from $14 to $18. Stock was only $11 stock just not too long ago. So there was a lot of nice moving stocks um, that were moving. I think that's about it. Did I, did I, did I call them all out? I think I, every, uh, Cyber Traders, did I get all of them? Oh, the, oh, I forgot the ONCT. I forgot about that one too. That was another nice one. That one moved from like $4 to $7. 
Uh, I think that's about it, right? I got them all. Oh, G uh, Gene. Gene was another one yesterday going to the close. Look at $3. There was just so much to make money yesterday. You know, it really, really was great. And then, uh, oh, even GE, by the way. Want to talk about a brand name? I mean, I I, I could, uh, that one, I you could trade several thousand shares of it. But GE also moved pretty nicely. It's been a great swing trade. GE, uh, G uh, what else uh, What else was going down yesterday? Uh, Fiserv was the other one. That's right. Fiserv was the other one. That's right. Okay. So that's yesterday. Don't worry about it. The, 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 the day has passed. You know, the, the best part about it is that when you come here, you see people, you know, trading. Remember, um, I, I don't tell anybody what to buy and sell. I just teach you guys how to stop losing money and how to play the game. That's why you guys are in the cyber group room and you're supposed to work together. And, you know, for the ones that are here trial membering and the people watching YouTube and Facebook Live, the goal is, is that you just need to see other people if they know how to make money. You got to be part of a team, part of a family. I keep repeating that over and over and over again. You cannot do this yourself. But when you see people that look at these things, this is how you actually, this is what you want to trade because this is where the action is. And you know what? You might not like the company. You might not like what they stand for. You might not like, you know, the, the symbols, you know. Or you might, whatever, it could be anything. But at the end of the day, we're traders and traders. What we do is we're here to make money. And the goal is to risk the least as much as possible with the high amount of reward. So yesterday was a great day. And I know a lot of you guys finished early. I, unfortunately for me, I'm a little upset at myself because I, I I was done early and I didn't come in the afternoon. And, I, you know, I kind of missed out on some of, those, uh, some of those big runners in the afternoon. But that's okay. That's the beauty about it. Because I always get people asking, you have to be here all day. And you don't. You don't have to be here all day. Um, make your money and call it a day. Like, you know what? IMMP, <laughs> you know what? You're done for the day. You're done. You know, you don't need to be here anymore. You know what I mean? If you made your day's pay, that's great. If you didn't make it, don't worry. You're, you're the second shift and the third shift, the fourth shift. So let's go through a couple of stocks that are moving this morning uh, that we're watching. But, uh, but I do want to repeat again. Uh, guys, don't forget, today is the Cyber Expo, okay? Uh, let me just bring it over here. I just want to keep bringing it up so people can see it. So if you have not registered, the Cyber Expo starts at 12 o'clock. Uh, Melissa, uh, Amaro is going to be talking. I'm going to pick up at 1 o'clock. And then I got Hubert Sanders. Three great speakers. You're talking over maybe 50-plus years, maybe even more of of. of, edu of education there of, of history of people knowing over the years come in don't forget to join you post a link up there on youtube facebook make sure you register and you know what you shouldn't be doing anything at that time anyway and if you can't make it don't worry it's going to be recorded okay so uh we do this every month and don't miss out on it now let's look at a couple of stocks so anyway we got the imp that thing still looks pretty damn strong going into the close which is very very shocking which well, actually what am I saying? I'm not shocked. That's normal. So strength, you know, um, going into the open, that means this thing could probably really pop. And don't be shocked the stock goes to 10 and 15 and 20. That could happen. You know what I mean? But we we'll, got to follow the money. So you got that one. SSPK is another one that's going on the watch list. Another very inexpensive stock. Neil, you just made uh, 60 cents in seven trades. That's it. Trade uh, Buy less, trade more. That's what I'm, That's what I'm talking about. Nice little trade there, Neil. Congratulations. Nice little move right there also. Stock went from 13 to 15 in pre-market. It's another stock we've been watching going into the open. GLSI. I'm going to put that on the watch list, okay? Even after all that chaos that happened. Um, just remember, do not trade a lot of shares of this. First of all, as of today, you know, if you just saw this for the first time, unless you're a category, unless you're a level five trader here at Cyber Trade University and you're averaging between a thousand to twenty five hundred a day, please don't trade the stock. You can have fun watching it, but you know what? You if you're new, don't don't focus on this because it's just gonna distract you on something you could trade and you're gonna lose a day of work and you don't wanna do that. Okay. So you can always go back to our tape and watch it later. Another one that's uh that's uh, that gapped up pretty big, but she took a big hit. I don't know what happened here, but I'm going to keep an eye on this uh, UTSI. Very cheap stock, nice spread. Got some great tier sizes on the level three right there. Another nice little mover that's gapped up about 51%. 
CLRO, another one that came up on my radar, another stock of 20%, 1.6 million shares already traded. Uh, she's got she, the only thing right here, she's test, testing resistance levels right of the August and September, which you could see on a long term chart. You got some little bit, uh, you got, you know, I, I see there's some iceberg orders out there that kind of held it back. So she's starting to trend down. So for something like this, when I'm watching a pre market, just because the stock is up, doesn't mean it can't go lower. You always got to wait the first five minutes. Remember, cyber traders, you know, when we start our commentary, when we're in the trading room, we got to be very, very careful on that. Uh, what else I got going on here? What else I got? The uh, SSPK. That one also is going to make the watch list right here. SSPK. At least this one's trending up a little bit. Um, this is probably a category three stock that we trained you in, in, in our, in our, fit, our, our, our beginner class. So you could tell by the spread. Remember, we keep repeating it, and you heard me and Josh talking about it yesterday. Guys, be very careful. The spread is the most expensive part of the trade. You know, just because you see a stock and like, oh, it's only $14. It's a lot cheaper than trading, you know, uh, Pinterest or, you know, or an airline, you know, or D Delta Airlines, whatever it is. Don't, it's not about the price of the stock that, 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 that could hurt you. It's the spread. It's the number one thing I was always taught. So, oh, before you have a trade of stock. So this one, it's a category three. So be very careful of that one. EBIT is another one I found this morning, but uh, she's been a great swing trade. But now you can see the stock gapped up. It went from $30 to about 55 and went hit 61, but she's starting to trend down in pre-market. So doesn't look like she, you know, the momentum kind of died on this one. The ZKIN. I didn't do that one right. This one, level one stock. I think everybody could afford to trade this one. It's inexpensive. It's not up a lot. It's up 17%. You got some, you don't have any big algorithms. There is, you could see right now, right here though, you could see right here that there's a 74,000 share seller right there at the 260, which kind of explains why it's having a tough time breaking this price right here. Okay. So I want to keep a close eye on that. That guy gets done. Look for the stock to go higher. Remember, follow the money, follow the money, follow the money, and follow the money. All right. Anything I'm missing, I did not call out. I pretty much does it. Um, that's our list right now we have that's going on pre-market. Anything else? All good. You're more than welcome, Jeff. Anyone else? I think we got a pretty got our list here. Okay, you got about uh you got about less little less than about a little less than 15 minutes before the market opens up. So in the meantime, while you guys get ready uh for the open, if you're watching us YouTube, Facebook Live, just like us, click us on the bottom. Try, if you want to join our trial, you're more than welcome to do a week trial for $9. Cyber group members, if you're in the room, remember, wait for the first five minutes. If you made your money already this morning, you know what? Take the rest of the day off. You know, maybe, you know, we put some Christmas lights if you're celebrating Christmas or Yohannik, whatever it is. You know, that's why this is what we do. And uh, and that pretty much, yes. And also, uh, Airbnb is actually going public today. We saw what happened with DoorDash. I didn't even look at DoorDash. I didn't want to. I was just curious what it was going to do. Um uh, Actually, pretty, pretty, pretty insulted with DoorDash. Not to get change the subject, but they charge restaurants thirty percent. This they only make twenty percent on the deal. I mean, I don't know if that's true, but thirty percent is ridiculous. And you know, good for them. Good for them. You know what? People are paying for it. You know, good for them. But um, but there we go. We got our watch list, and and then like I said before, we go. Don't forget to register for um event today the cyber expo let me just bring it up so you already can see it again here we go don't mind me i got so many monitors so don't forget to register for today's event if you haven't done already we'll, we'll see you all back here at 12 o'clock all right and we will we'll, we will be broadcasting this live on on youtube and facebook live all right guys good luck everyone happy trading be safe we'll see you back uh we'll see you back at 12 cyber traders go fill up your coffee Go we'll hit the restrooms. Let's get ready for the open. Hopefully, we have another exciting one. Remember, it is hump day, which is Thursday. Good luck, everyone.